Hey everyone, Matt Botas here. Today we're going to talk a little bit about your batteries and maintaining them and specifically the PVC shrink tubing that comes on the outside of these. The PVC shrink tubing can sometimes get fractured. Uh, say you have a crash, the battery is good, but it fractures the PVC shrink tubing. You can easily replace this uh, with a few tools. Be very careful that if you when you remove it i prefer removing it by hand like i'll tear it with my hands but if you have to use scissors be very careful you do not perforate any of these cells that would be disastrous uh, so avoid that at all costs take your time and be careful so what you're going to need is a heat gun i'm using one of my older uh, hanger 9 heat guns um, it's pretty low power so it doesn't heat the battery up too much um, pair of scissors to cut your shrink tubing or potentially cut the shrink tubing off of your battery um, and the shrink tubing itself. This is PVC shrink tubing. You can usually get it in 14 inch lengths. I'll, uh, I'll put a link in the description uh, so you guys can get that. Um, so without further ado, let's go ahead and shrink up this battery. Okay, first take your shrink tubing. I like to cut it about one inch beyond the battery. That gives it room to wrap around the ends and secure any wires. Uh, so give yourself about a half inch to one inch beyond each end. And if it's too much, you can always trim it up if you need to. Slide your battery into the shrink tubing. So make sure you go beyond the battery itself. Get your balance leads. Okay, I give myself a little bit of room for it to shrink around. And it looks like we might have a little bit extra on the end here. So what I like to do is start at the very end, the very top, maybe hold it by the wires, and slowly heat it up while you rotate the battery around. Just at the very end. You can see it's just the end that's shrinking there and slowly work your way down. Be careful not to heat the battery up too much. If you see any wrinkles, don't worry about it. You can get those out later. Take your time, be patient. Slowly work your way around the battery. get a kink like that you just pull on it and it'll straighten right out go back over any parts you're not happy with again ensuring that you're not getting the battery too hot those little creases will come right out See, I have a little bit of excess here at the end. What you can do is you can just trim that off. Nice and careful with the scissors. Go around in a circle. And go ahead and Run the heat gun back over the end and it'll suck it right back into the battery. You see, that looks great. It's very important to protecting your battery. This battery is mounted in your helicopter. You can get uh, abrasions on the side. Maybe it's rubbing on the frames. Hopefully not. But you don't want to have this shrink tubing compromised. It's very important. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Get those batteries protected.